With only 50% of medical facilities fully functional in Yemen, the United Nations Healthcare Agency is striving to fill a critical healthcare shortage and will use a $9.1 million emergency response grant to assist 630,000 vulnerable people in districts around Sana'a and al hodeida The World Health Organization, WHO, is working with partners to fill critical gaps in the provision of basic health care to respond to disease outbreaks, to strengthen disease surveillance, to distribute medical supplies, and to deliver life-saving services to mothers and their children, said WHO Yemen Representative Navio Zagari. The grant from the UN Central Emergency Response Fall Fund CERF will be used to deliver urgent health assistance to 189,000 internally displaced persons and 441,000 people from host communities, including cr chronically ill people, pregnant and lactating mothers, severely malnourished children and injured people. Assistance will be provided in the form of health services close where they live, including for general services and trauma, child and nutrition care, reprodu reproductive maternal and newborn care, mental health and treatment for communicable diseases, a life-threatening non-communicable diseases. CERF funding will provide additional resources, help make our work possible at a time of great need for the people of Yemen, said Mr. Zagaria. With only half of the health, health facilities fully functional, 16.4 million people in Yemen require assistance to ensure adequate access to health care with 9.3 million acute need. Ongoing outbreaks of cholera and diphtheria have underscored the impacts of a female health system.